Hello YouTube family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. You are now tuned in with Budget with Shelly and today we are doing our third paycheck stuffing of April. We'll be stuffing a total of $560 into our sinking funds, our everyday wallet, as well as our challenges. So let's get started. All right, first things first, happy Easter. As you can see, I'm so festive, I love Easter. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I'm so happy that you've decided to click onto my video here today. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey now, say now, welcome back. All right, so today we are stuffing my sinking funds, my challenges, as well as my everyday wallet. So let's go ahead and start with counting my cash. All right, so... <laughs> I am just all over the place here today, you guys. I did not stop at the bank to get my stuffings this week. I just was so all over the place, not only with Easter, but with work and everything like that. So look at my wallet. Look how dirty it is. Okay, anywho, um, let me go ahead and count the cash. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So we have $560 to stuff here today. Now, I'm so lucky that my ATM actually gives me smaller denominations or else I would be in big trouble. So, I'm happy about that. Um, I really wanted a $100 bill for the stuffing, but listen, I can only take what I can get. So, we'll just make do with what we can. All right, so $560 here. Happy Easter, everyone. I'm so happy. I love Easter. It's just such a wonderful and festive um, little holiday. It's just so great. Um, I went ahead and took out all the change out of my everyday wallet. As you can see, I had quite a bit and I put it in this little pink envelope this week. So when we put our change, it actually came out of a several envelopes in my everyday wallet. So we'll just go ahead and put the change in our change drawer. Okay, we're starting off with All right, so that was what, about $3 almost worth of change. All right, so let's go ahead and get with our challenges here. We'll go ahead and take the monies out of our envelopes. So we have five, six, seven, eight dollars in Shelly. We have $10 worth of gas, and that's because I didn't really go to uh, anywhere this week as usual. We have $1 in groceries. And of course, we have the same $5 in fun. Okay, for our challenges, let me find a pen here. I love this color right here. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, we're gonna use this color this week. So for our challenges, as we know, last week we completed our $1 savings challenge. So we started all over and we had a rollover of $2 last week. So this week we have, first let's count and see how much we saved within the week. We actually did pretty good this week. All right, so we have 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, $24. So we have $4 worth of ones here. So we'll put that in our challenge envelope. 
we are doing really, really great with these challenges. I love these envelopes. So $4, one, two, three, and four. All right, and then with our $5, we have, ooh, we have two fives. So we'll put that in here. So we will mark off two fives. So that's one and two. And then our $10, we have one $10 bill. We'll put that guy in here. And that's $10. So we have a finally have one row that's marked off. So we're good to go there. Our challenges are complete for the week. So let's get to stuffing our everyday wallet. All right, so first things first, we'll start off with my personal envelope that will get 25. So we'll have one 20 and these five ones just to make sure that I can break it just in case, okay? This is my weekly envelope just in case you're new to my channel. This is the money that I spend in every week, okay? So 25 goes into Shelly. We do 50 per week in gas. That's two 20s and a 10. All right. This week, groceries will not get stuffed. I know it's kind of crazy and everyone's like, oh, but I'm not stuffing this envelope because last week we did a huge grocery haul. So there's no need for me to stuff this envelope this week. So I am skipping groceries this week and then we will resume stuffing next week, okay? So home will get its normal $10. And then fun will get its normal $5. All right, and then I have my bank envelope for withdrawals or deposits. All right, now we are done with our everyday wallet. Let's go ahead and start our sinking funds. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with our high priority sinking funds. This week is going to be one of those weird weeks. I am going to stuff a little bit more in my emergency fund. So this week we will be stuffing $150 in my emergency fund. And unfortunately I don't have any 100, so we're just gonna take all these 20s. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 50. Okay, we're trying to get to that 1K slip. All right, so let's go ahead and count how much we have in our emergency fund. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 670, or 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, and 25. So we have $925 in our emergency fund. Now, if you have been watching my channel, you would know that last week I completed my um, one, well, my $1 savings challenge. So um, I will be actually incorporating my $50 that I saved last week into my envelopes this week. So I'm gonna set that here so we won't forget. All right, three to six months, we will go ahead and stuff with $40 this week. So that's two 20s. And we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So 190 in three to six months. My honey will get uh, her normal $50. That's my one last 50 in the back. So we now have, let's count that. We now have $150. And as you know, her birthday is next week, or next month, I'm sorry. So that's what we are stuffing for. Um, Self-care, we'll go ahead and get $50 this week. So we have one, 20, two 20s and a 10. 
So self-care now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, and 10. So we have 310 in self-care. Dream home will not get stuffed. New car will not get stuffed. Student loans will get its normal $80 per week as normal. <laughs> so 20, 40, 60, 80. Can I tell you guys, I cannot wait to pay this off. I have like $740 to go. So we have $80 here. So student loan ha now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, and 20. Okay, so as we know, once we get to 500, we'll pay student loans off. Debt will not get stuffed this week. All right, high priority is done. Let's go ahead and go to our low priority. Okay, so for our low priority, we have vacation. We will go ahead and stuff that with $20. So vacation now has 45. Medical, we will stuff that with also $20. So medical now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 120 in medical. Next is car maintenance, and we will stuff car maintenance with 20 as well. So car maintenance now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 85. Now this is for my tags or any oil changes or anything I need on my car. Um, as you know, I do not have a car note on my car, so um, this is just for maintenance fees only. Um, I will stick with my old car as long as I do not have payments. I'm perfectly fine there. Clothing will go ahead and get 20 as well. My last 20. So clothing now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 34, 35. So 135 is in clothing. Date night will get stuffed as well. We'll go ahead and stuff that with $10. So date night has now $50, which is amazing. That's perfect for a movie night for me and my honey. Family will not get stuffed. Gifts and birthdays will not get stuffed. Apartment decor will not get stuffed. Beauty will go ahead and get my last $10. So beauty now has 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 54, 55, which is needed because as you can see, I took my nails off because they were just falling off. Like, I don't know what's going on with the um, gel now, but... I remember back when I used to get my nails done, it was like, they would stay on long term, you know, but now it seems like every fill I'm losing a nail. So I am just starting all over. I think probably next week um, after my next stuffing, I will get my nails done again. All right. Apple will not get stuffed. We have $30 in Apple. Um, and yep, that's that. So that is it for my stuffing. We will go ahead and put this $50 in an envelope. I have figured out which envelope I'm putting this $50 into. And it will go into student loans, okay? And the reason why is because I'm almost done paying it off. And why not have an extra boost, okay? So we already know there's $320 in here. So now we have $370. So let's count it, okay? It's a lot of ones, but we're just going to barrel through it. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, and 50. Okay, we know this is $50. So we have 370 into student loans. So we need $130 to go ahead and make a $500 payment. Okay. So I don't know how this is going to work. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Look at the envelope. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> All right. It's going right back to the government. Thank you for my education. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and close out this video. All right. Well, thank you guys so very much for tuning in to my channel. I hope you guys are meeting all of your financial goals. I just want you guys to know that I am here for you. Stay positive and make sure that you do well by yourself as well as others. Thank you so much. Happy Easter and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.